Hi, this is Sean Bagshaw, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Photoshop action that will help streamline your soft proofing for print workflow. Soft proofing is something that you can do in Photoshop to simulate what an image will look like when it's printed on a certain paper. You work very hard on your image to get it to look how you want on your screen and oftentimes we're disappointed when we print that image because it doesn't match our vision, our, our creative and artistic vision and what we saw on the screen. That's because different papers uh, interact differently with inks and also paper is not an illuminated monitor so uh, oftentimes you have to make some additional adjustments to your image to get the print to more closely match what you see on your screen. So let's start. Now the first thing that I do is open up an image in Photoshop. Here's this image that I want to print and this image has already been developed by me and I have all of my uh, developing adjustments here in this optimization folder. So if we take a look you can see those are all the various adjustments that I've made to this image and if we turn that entire optimization folder on and off you can see the before and the after. There's the original images that came from the raw file and that's what it looks like after my developing adjustments. Uh, I also save it with this uh, levels adjustment layer turned off. This is what I call, and I'm going to name that right now, my lighten for print layer. And I know from experience that almost every image, no matter how I set my monitor, ends up printing a little darker than uh, how I see it on the monitor and how I want it to print. So uh, I save this, uh, my images with this lighten for print layer turned off and then when I go to print I know that I can turn it on and it just adds enough extra uh, brightness to that print or to that image so that when it prints it'll print at the right um, brightness value. And so the, what I've done with that is just created a levels adjustment layer, set it to the screen blending mode, I set to a very low opacity, and then if I need to I go in and make some very minor adjustments with the uh, mid-tones and highlights and shadow slider so that the amount of brightness uh, looks good. So once I've turned that back on, I'm now ready to start recording my actions. So I'm going to go up to my actions panel here, and uh, I've already made a folder for this action. Uh, it's a soft proofing folder. So now I'm going to click the new action button and it's going to create a new action in that soft proofing action folder called, uh, I'm going to call it uh, soft proof and this is going to be for premium luster photo paper. Now you could create an action for all different kind of papers because different papers and canvases and whatever else you might be printing on all have different print profiles uh, and the paper are profiled differently and so you will want to um, do different adjustments in your soft proofing to get uh, an image to print right on different papers. So once I hit record and that little red circle comes on, I'm now recording an action. Everything I do from here on is going to be recorded. So the first step that I'm going to do is go to the image menu and duplicate this image. And I want to duplicate this image uh, as merged layers. So I want to flatten all these layers so I just have one background image and say OK. So we can see here's my copy image. Here's the original image with all the layers intact. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and close that uh, original master file because I don't want to work on that. That's not going to become a print file. It just stays uh, unaltered as my, my master. So I, cl I close that and I say no I don't want to save any changes because I don't want to save it with that lighten for print layer turned on. So no. And I still have now here open is my uh, copy that's just been flattened to a background layer. And the next step in my action is I'm going to duplicate that now. So image duplicate copy number two don't need to worry about merging layers because they've already been merged and say OK. So now I have two copies, copy one and copy two. And I'm going to go to the Windows menu and arrange those two copies uh, tiled two up vertically. So now I can see those side by side. I'm going to go ahead and close my actions panel here too for now so that we can see both images clearly. The next step is to take this first copy here and apply my premium luster photo uh, paper
profile to that so it will simulate what it would look like if I printed it. So I go to view, proof setup, custom, and I select here from all of the various papers that are available, I want to select PLPP, uh, premium luster photo paper, and I happen to know this is going to be the 260 weight as well. I usually work in the, uh, I almost always use the relative uh, rendering intent when I'm profiling. It seems to usually give me the closest look. I want to use black point compensation and I do want to simulate paper color. Now Photoshop tends to be a little heavy handed when it's simulating the paper color but I keep that in mind. Uh, just remember that it's going to look worse on the screen than the print's actually going to look. So I'm going to say OK. So now here we can see is this is the simulated version of the image of what the print will look like and this is my comparison image of what it looks like on my monitor. Uh, so you can see that this is much duller, flatter, lower contrast, and a little bit cooler or bluer than the screen image. So if I printed this out, like I said, it looks a little worse than it actually would because Photoshop kind of overdoes it a bit, but still, I wouldn't be happy if I got a print that looked like this when I was expecting this. So here's what the next steps come in. I need to increase contrast, I need to increase saturation, and a little bit of luminosity and brightness, and I also need to warm it up a little bit. So I'm going to do some additional adjustments to this image to get it ready to print. And I'm going to use this as my comparison so I can see when this is beginning to get close to that. So my first adjustment is going to be a curves adjustment layer. And to make this curves adjustment layer, I'm first going to set a marker down here in the shadow portion of my curve. And that'll just be an anchor. It'll hold that there. And now I'm going to go add some um, highlight luminosity into this image by dragging the uh, upper highlight portion of my curve up a bit. And we can see that brightening up those highlights. Uh, that's also increasing contrast a little bit too much, so I'm now going to also bring up my shadows just a little bit, trying to maintain the contrast, but also bring up the overall luminosity of the image. So somewhere in there probably looks good, and it's going to be slightly different for every image. So we can see before and the after there what that looks like. Okay, next thing is I need to try to bring back some lost uh, saturation that's going to be lost in that print. So I'm going to do a hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to bring up the saturation, not a lot, maybe about to 9 or 10. And I can't bring back all of my lost color because there are some colors in the screen image that are just out of gamut uh, for printing on that particular paper. So there's some colors there that I'm not going to be able to reach, but I can get it closer. And then the final thing that I need to work with is uh, to combat this cooling or bluing of some of the colors in here that the premium luster photo paper has. So to do that I am going to use the photo filter and here's this warming filter 85 and uh, I want to work with that uh, although that may warm the image more than I want to so I may turn down the opacity on that a bit. Okay, Now we can see that the two images still don't match perfectly, but if we look where we began, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and click on the eyeball in the background image so I can turn off all those other adjustment layers. You can see that that's where we started and that's where we are now. So you can see that we're now getting that image much closer to what we wanted, and so it should now print closer. And in fact, I can go back up to View whoops, and toggle the proof colors on and off, the proof simulation on and off, either by clicking that or using Control y So I'm actually going to use Control y to toggle that on and off. You can see that's with the print simulation and that's without. So without, you can see those adjustments that we made really kind of pump that image up probably more than my intent, but it should print looking closer to what I want and be a much uh, uh, more pleasing print that I think is more closely representative of what I was trying to accomplish. So now with that uh, I can now uh, stop my action. So I open up the action palette and hit the stop button and stop recording because essentially there I'm done working uh, or creating that action. Uh, 
now anytime that I want to do soft proofing for premium luster photo paper in the future I can just simply play that action and it'll go through that whole process very quickly for me and get me to a point where I'm very close to being ready to print so let's go ahead and close these two images now uh, not going to save them and let's go back and reopen so I'm going to go open recent and reopen that original Photoshop document of the image with all the layers intact and let's play that action and see how it works so the first thing I'm going to do is turn on my um, lighten for print layer to add the lightning for printing that I'm going to want and then the next thing I'm going to do is go to my actions panel whoops there's that huge look at all those steps in that action that we recorded I'm going to collapse that down so here's the soft proof for premium luster photo paper action and I'm just going to hit play and it will go through all those steps it'll flatten the image close the original master create the duplicates uh, and now all I need to do is go to window and arrange those um, two up vertical side by side close my action panel and here is my uh, image with the profile simulation applied and here's my comparison image and we can see that all of those adjustments have been applied and I can go in and fine-tune those if I need to and then once I decide that I've got this image looking as close to this image as I can I can go ahead and close that one don't save it and now this is my print file I can say control Y to turn off the simulation now all I need to do is size this for print and do any print sharpening that I want to do and send it off to be printed and that's how you can create an action that will make your soft proofing go much faster and you can produce actually a whole series of actions for different papers so that whatever paper you're going to print on you can just do a single click on that action and it'll automatically get you set up um, with the soft proof well thank you for joining me for this tutorial I hope that's been helpful um, give that a try see how that works for you